Hello everyone, um, Siak here again from Jesus to My Rescue Ministries and it's time again for our weekly motivational video message. This week um, it's going to be a little bit longer. Um, so many times we are faced with challenges in our lives, challenges at work um, and at home with relationships. People at work, our co-workers, our friends, family, sometimes even our life partner, husband or wife. People telling us that our ideas, our ideas are stupid and it will never work. Even telling us that we are stupid, laughing at, at, at what we say we want to do and what we want to achieve in life and sometimes even the dreams that, that God gave us. People will tell you, but that's stupid and it's not realistic. And these things certainly do happen. And when people tell you these things, we tend to lose focus. We lose focus of life. We, we get so negative that we, we believe that we cannot achieve anything and that we will not be able to get out of challenges and get anywhere in life and that really also removes us from the perfect relationship with Jesus because the more negative you get the more you ask him the question about but where is God in this um, now let me tell you today you are not stupid your ideas are not stupid you are not stupid and your dreams are not stupid and it's very important to take that in. You are not stupid. Your ideas are not stupid. Your dreams are not stupid. No matter what people tell you, whether it's your own partner, maybe saying it, or somebody at work or a friend, um, you are perfectly and wonderfully made by God in His image. So don't listen to that. It's a lie from the enemy. You are not stupid and your ideas are not stupid. It is not ridiculous. You are not ridiculous. Let me share something with you very quickly. Ten years ago, I gave my, my, my life to Jesus. I got baptized, received the Holy Spirit. And then God gave me this vision, the vision of Jesus to my rescue. What I need to do and how I need to do it, everything about it. Um, and also a specific project that I had to take on. Now, when I, I actually went and I sat down with a pastor um, and spoke to him about this. I shared this with him. I shared my heart with him. And he actually laughed at me. And he said to me, you will never be able to achieve that. It's a great dream. It's wonderful. But you will never be able to do it. It's just not, um, you know, it's, it's just not achievable. Um, you, must, you must try something a little bit more, uh, um, uh, less complicated. Um, I was very hurt and I was very demotivated. And I nearly gave up on everything. But my sister then um, uh, said to me that I shouldn't do that. I should look at, at who the real enemy is here and I should not give up on, on the dream that God gave me. And I'll tell you what, I didn't. Um, two years after that, I, I did a walk where I walked for 130 kilometers um, from Saldana Bay uh, to Cape Town, walked along the road for 130 kilometers, visited every single town, prayed for the people, uh, had outreaches, um, talked at schools, and it was a huge success. Thousands of lives were changed. Uh, many people accepted Jesus into their lives. Thousands of Bibles were, uh, and uh, other Christian material were distributed. And if I gave up on, my, on, on the dream that God gave me, that would never have happened. Here I'm sitting, 10 years later, I'm sitting here, and Jesus to my rescue, uh, through the projects and the websites and the social media channels, we reach more than 250,000 people every year with a lot of people accepting Jesus into their lives. So many lives have been touched and changed because I did not give up on the vision and the dream that God gave me. Now, um, as part of that project, I was sponsored by businesses. Um, people said you will never be able to get it right. I was sponsored by businesses. Um, it was even covered on radio, media. Um, went live on radio twice a day throughout that entire week that, that, that I did the walk. Um, so it really just was absolutely incredible. Um, now I'm sharing this to you to tell you today that if God gave you a dream, don't give up on that dream. Don't listen to people telling you that it's a stupid idea. Don't listen to people. And it doesn't have to be only uh, based on a religious thing. It can be a dream that is not based on working for God. It can be any dream that you have that God gave you. Don't listen to people telling you that it's stupid and that you are stupid and you will never be able to achieve it. If we walk, walk in a personal relationship with Jesus, no idea that God gives us, no dream that God gives us will ever be stupid. So this is my message to you today. It, it, in this whole thing, when people tell you and bring all these negative things to you, it is not you, right? It's not you. 
And also, it's not them. I want to tell you today that when people do these things, they, it's not them. It's the enemy doing it through them. It's the enemy attacking you, trying to bring you down through them. Because the enemy doesn't like what you're doing. And the enemy doesn't like the fact that you are going to achieve the dreams that God has put in your life. So don't listen to them and don't get discouraged. But also, don't start hating people because they, 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 they speak these things and say these things. It is not them. See the enemy for what it is. It's not them. It's the enemy attacking you, trying to bring you down, trying to prevent you from having the perfect relationship with Jesus. That's very important. And then, yes, life is hard. Sometimes you're going to fail in your dreams. Sometimes you're going to fall and you're going to fall hard. But you're going to get back up and you're going to just be stronger and stronger and stronger. And I want to end with this. 1 Philippians 4, verse 13. I'm going to read this to you. I can do all things... Through Christ who gives me the strength. And when Satan tries to bring you down. You and, and he comes knocking at your door. You say Jesus that one is for you. Because why? We read in James 4 verse 7. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Today I'm ending with this. Stand strong and never, never, never give up. Speak the Psalm 62 verse 2 over your life. God is my rock. I will not be defeated. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.